Hi, in this lesson, we're going to start with the back end. First of all, we're going to make this header menu manageable from the WordPress dashboard. So without wasting time, let's begin. So before we begin, we have to specify that this is a bootstrap theme. What is bootstrap? So bootstrap is a CSS framework that allows you to code more, more quickly a site. And I'm going to show you why it is a, a bootstrap theme, an HTML bootstrap theme. So here, as you can see um, in the header file, so we have created, I mean, in the last video, the, I mean, the header file. So here in the menu, as you can see, so these classes come from bootstrap. And you have nav item nav link and all of these come from I mean uh, bootstrap so I mean what we're gonna what we're gonna need I mean to transform I mean this header menu I mean in bootstrap so the community uh, create um, something called nav worker nav worker I'm gonna show you in a moment and this is it. So I'm going to leave this link in the description of the description of this video. So you can download it and I'm going to explain how to use it. Um, so we're going to need nav worker. I mean, this is something that will make things more easy to transform. Um, I mean, a bootstrap menu to WordPress. Now to begin the transformation with our, I mean, bootstrap menu. So we're gonna need to download this file. But really, um, the only file we're gonna really need this is, I mean, this file class WP bootstrap nav worker, and uh, we're gonna open it, and we're gonna copy all of these. Let's copy everything here. I mean, oh. Let's copy everything. Okay. Till the end. Mm, this is a big file. Okay. Okay. I mean, we need only this. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we took everything and we're gonna open uh, the server. Okay, 2W HTML. This is um, our WordPress folder, W content, themes. I mean, this is how theme HTML to WP open it. So um, I like to structure um, my team folders and I'm gonna create a new folder call include this is how I like to do things okay and uh, we're gonna head back to um, our code editor so you see the, the folder created include and I'm gonna create a file in it um, let's see um, WP, uh, you can name it as you want. I mean, class, class worker. What's up? That PHP. Okay, and then you paste the file in it. So and save. Now I'm gonna show you. Um, how to use, I mean, this class, I mean, this file, um, nav worker. So um, to use um, nav worker, I'm going to show you um, everything in the documentation. So if you like to read, so you're going to, I mean, uh, probably learn quickly. And uh, we're going to head back. Okay. So this is the documentation. I'm, and I'm going to leave... Um, this link in the description. So WP Bootstrap Nav Worker. So as you can see, this is how to call. I mean your file. I mean 
you're gonna call the file that we have just created okay in uh, our team team function so you see everything is here well explained and um, if you want this is how to test I mean if the file exists so that you avoid error and this is how to create menu in WordPress I could have named it, name it I mean primary I mean um, bootstrap menu so bootstrap I mean you can name it name it as you want primary and here also so you're gonna see how everything works so here this is how to call I mean the nav and I'm gonna show you everything in a while so no secret guys so everything is in the documentation so to make things easier for you we're gonna follow the instructions okay so this is the documentation and uh, as you see installation okay um, place this file in your team folder okay as you see so I'm gonna leave I mean the link like I have told you before and this is how to I mean to insert to require the file and um, if you want to do this I mean in a better way this is how to test if the file was properly inserted so we're gonna go with this piece of code copy and head back to our team functions okay and this is it so one thing to remember we give another name okay or we could copy this name and put it here or copy this I mean this um, this file name that we require and we name we name it in include okay okay so this is it the same name and other thing to take in consideration so we put it in a folder name include so we're gonna I mean include slash okay and we're gonna do the same thing for this okay so that's okay so you see if it gonna test if he, he finds the, the the this file if not show error okay this text it appears the class wp able support enough worker that php file may be missing or if everything's okay it's it gonna insert the file so now we are going to create the menu okay head back in the documentation okay so this is how to create a menu in wordpress head back in our code editor okay so here you could have named in name it i mean i'm gonna name it bootstrap to show you you can name it as you want and this is primary menu you can name it bootstrap menu okay boot bootstrap bootstrap menu okay and here this is the team name i mean before testing if everything works um we have to correct a little thing uh, this is boot bootstrap okay now the bootstrap menu is almost done what we have to do we have to put i mean the bootstrap links in wordpress and we're gonna head back to the documentation okay and uh, usage how to use it so we're gonna copy this piece of code so as you see this is how to use it let me show you we're gonna copy this piece of code and we're gonna head back to our code editor okay and header okay so pay, pay attention to the menu I mean so you see these classes we're gonna need it I mean to have the same functionalities but for now we're gonna comment all of these okay and here you're gonna open PHP tags okay so paste everything here paste everything in it okay space so 
um let me show you we give it what name we give i um, mean the menu we give it the name give it the name boots up okay head back to header i mean uh, the name was boots up and this is the we're gonna we're not gonna have we're not going to have drop down so we're gonna put one okay and um, container we're not going to use container container class no i'm gonna remove this and container id no okay and what we're gonna need we put the menu class this is here things i mean is interesting let me let me show you the class that the same class we're gonna add the same class in the nav menu copy all of these and get rid of these to make sure okay this is it team location will be um let me show you quickly get back team location will be this name okay and um header the um depth one because we're not going to have drop down and all we have to do is to replace the classes these those classes i mean in the nav in the bootstrap nav now to have the same functionalities to work as it was okay so now we're gonna head back to wordpress so now let's refresh um how wordpress site as you can see the menu disappeared so we have to log in to fix that i mean now the menu is manageable um let's make a login quickly this is the user and password okay login this is it and we're gonna head to appearance of the site in the dashboard menu so we have to create a menu in wordpress i'm gonna name it custom menu create the menu okay so this is the menu location so as you can see this is the menu that we have created bootstrap menu as you can see everything works so now we are in wordpress and we can change everything in the menu as we want the menu is manageable right now and um uh, here i'm gonna remove this and put home so we have an anchor tag what it is let me explain you um, real quick i'm gonna save and um, let me explain you explain you real quick so as you can see okay anchor tag when you click and uh, um so you have the section it direct it will be directed to the section okay so okay let's visit our site to see the appearance so as you can see guys this is it okay everything is working now we are in wordpress dashboard now let's create the rest of the link okay and we're gonna remove, remove this we're gonna we're not going to use to use it and uh your link i mean this will be services um, the link text this will be services i mean like this because this is an anchor okay add to menu and we add uh, about and we're gonna create the anchor add to the menu and we add uh, projects projects and anchor projects okay add to the menu testimonials and we're not we're gonna add it to the menu testimonial and 
plants plants okay and uh, the last we had uh, i'm gonna copy in um i'm gonna copy um the last one we had uh, i mean a number i'm gonna copy uh this number with a while and uh, the link text will be this and the anchor will be contact okay save okay now let's see let's refresh the page okay what do i let's refresh now okay so this is it let's see services oh so as you can see everything work guys so one of the thing we have to fix is this button so we need to add the class i mean it has a class i'm gonna add it um to end with this tutorial i mean to finish with i um, mean this menu i'm gonna show you um what we are missing okay we are missing this button color and it is a class in css we have to add I mean to make it work I mean to make it works perfectly so um, I'm gonna head back to to show you um this piece uh, the missing piece okay um, so this what is missing I'm gonna copy this classes okay head back to I mean um, our WordPress site okay and as you can see we have no class here to add to have the same functionality but there is a way to do this I mean head here to screen options and here you see link target title attribute CSS classes okay and here as you can see we can add classes and save okay and here let's refresh okay so it is a little bit i mean um wider so we can fix that so the main thing so you have everything here works perfectly so in the next video we're gonna fix that so with a little css but i mean the color um the functionalities everything works perfectly so guys in the next i mean video so we're gonna start with the acf plugin pro i mean to make all of these manageable in the wordpress dashboard like we have um like we did with the menu and we're gonna make it also manageable i mean this logo thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and drop your comment below so see you in the next video bye bye